hey guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be making oha soup i've already cooked the meat i'll be using over here i have some cowter and shaki i have some stock fish and dry catfish which i've already cooked as well and i also be making use of oziza seed which is kubeb seed in english and over here i have some crayfish which is already blended then i also have some salt and some pepper inside these plates you can make use of fresh habanero pepper but i'm making use of dry pepper then i also have some snails over here already cooked as well this is the size of the snail that i'll be making use of and this is the water from cooking the snails and the fish then i have the coco yam here i'm making use of powdered coco yam feel free to make use of fresh coco yam i have some palm oil here guys don't mind this our palm oil that's the kind of palm oil they sell to us over here i have some fish powder i have some oziza leaf dried oziza and i also have ogiri see the main the main ogiri for cooking bitter leaf soup or oha soup i have it frozen then i also have the frozen aura you can make use of fresh or hard, but yeah, over here in diaspora, we freeze it so that it can stay for a long time. So the first thing I'll be doing is to mix in the palm oil with the coco yam powder, just like so. It makes it not to have lumps while cooking it. So inside my pot, I'll be adding the meat that I showed you earlier that's the cow tail and shaki i follow it up with the fish broth then adding the fishes the snails and any other protein you are making use of me i'm making use of this ones i showed you now cow tail shaki stock fish and dry catfish with some snails top up the water especially if you are cooking in a large quantity then cover and bring it to boil. Once it has boiled down, then start adding the coco yam paste. If you are making use of fresh coco yam, cook it, pan it, or you blend it with some water, then you can add it now as well. Then after adding it, adding some ogirisi, just like so. Then cover the pot and allow it to cook so that the coco yam and the giri will melt inside the soup once i've gotten the consistency i want i add in the fish powder oziza leaf some pepper stir and add in some salt to your taste then after adding some salt add in some oziza seed the kubeb seed then some crayfish powder I'll be adding crayfish two times, so I'll not be adding everything now. So stir your soup to combine everything together so it will cook and marry each other. Then, after stirring, check for salt. If you still need to add more salt, you can add now. If you don't like the consistency, you can top up the water. After cooking it for some minutes, add in the aura or your oha leaf if you are making use of fresh aura directly from the farm you can add it now but in diaspora we freeze our aura so that it will last for a long time for us then stir it properly just to combine everything together just like so test for salt and cover to cook for two minutes adding the last crayfish then it's ready take it out to cool down or dish it out and enjoy with any swallow of your choice bye